In southeast Peru lies Tambopata National Reserve, a place which contains an incredible number of unique species across a broad range of habitats. The reserve's aim is to protect a great part of the remaining undamaged forests of the Amazon Basin, which has one of the richest areas of biodiversity in the world. Among this diversity are three species of parrots called the macaw that stand out from the rest thanks to their beauty and curious habits. There are three different types of macaws found at Tambopata. The blue and yellow macaw, the larger red and green macaw, and the scarlet macaw. Macaws have evolved to eat a specialized diet, and this has led to some remarkable physical adaptations. One of the macaws' most important physical characteristics is the claw. Their gripping toes are used to latch onto branches, meaning this secure grip, plus an outstanding sense of balance, allows macaws to play and perform acrobatics. Their gripping toes allow them to grab, hold and examine different items, showing extraordinary coordination to consume their food. Their main diet consists of fruit, palm fruits, nuts, seeds, leaves, flowers and stems, and their flexible feet give them great dexterity when opening small fruits, and in particular nuts. In this case, the tough Brazil nuts. Another adaptation to their special diet is a powerful beak that easily cracks nuts and seeds, while the dry, scaly tongue has a bone inside that makes an effective drill for tapping into fruits. The fruit and nut diet forces the macaws to add another component to their daily intake, clay. Every morning, different flocks of birds gather around the clay lick to eat clay or, as it is said in Quechua, the language of the Incas, colpa, meaning salty earth. Just after sunrise, Flocks of different parrots start to arrive and remain there until they are sure that the area is safe.
Normally, they prefer open areas where they can detect approaching mammals and raptors and fly away if needed. Usually, the smaller parrots are the boldest and are the first to venture down. Moments later, the rest of the birds feel confident enough to go down as well. But why do these birds eat soil? The first of two common theories is that the clay neutralizes the negative effects of the many different toxins in their diet. Many of the tropical fruits and seeds contain defensive chemicals and poisons used to try and stop the parrots from eating them. Parrots are known as seed predators because they destroy the seed when they eat it. The second theory suggests that eating clay allows the macaws and parrots to gain mineral supplements such as calcium, iron and in particular sodium. It has been noted that birds tend to gather around sections of the culpa with a high concentration of this mineral. But eating soil is not the only reason why birds come to the culpa. Many birds come to the area even if they don't need clay. These birds hang around in trees and strengthen their lifelong relationships by mutual preening. Others come to the culpa with their offspring in order to feed them. The birds have a degree of protection from predators when they gather at the clay lick, for many eyes are better than one. Hawks and eagles rarely succeed in catching a parrot or macaw.
The large numbers of parrots and macaws at the Kalik give the impression that there is a healthy population. Unfortunately, this isn't true, and they are disappearing from many areas of the tropics because of the pet trade, the loss of their habitat, and hunting. It is likely that effective macaw conservation will depend on initiatives that provide economic benefits for local people in order to discourage poaching and habitat destruction. The spectacle of hundreds of parrots and macaws congregating at the Klalik attracts tourists from around the world to Tambopata and has provided an invaluable opportunity for the preservation of these magnificent birds and so too for the imperiled rainforest with its many other creatures less glamorous than the macaws of Tambopata. <laughs> <laughs>